Hi guys, welcome to Simproof Fry Speaking here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. This time we are going to build another micro house. So this is a new addition to the micro home series, and I wanted to build another maybe vacation house with a theme again. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's summer and I'm like totally in the summer craze. And also I have been asked to build like a bachelor pad. And yeah, I thought maybe the bachelor likes to live in a micro home near the beach. Maybe it's his summer vacation home also. I don't know, but you can place it wherever you want, of course, in the game. So if you ask yourself where I have built that, that's in Windenburg on the island. You can at Windenburg with the get together expansion pack so let's talk a little bit about it. so the basic layout I've seen like the outer shape of this house I've seen on Instagram this house actually really exists like it's really that small and if I find that picture again then I will link to that in the video description so you can go there and check it out maybe maybe I don't know buy it <laughs> I have no idea but yeah it's really really pretty and I wanted to I really like that sleek um, idea with the box somehow and then it looks a little bit like the smart minimalist build again that I already did so this time it just has this nice corner <laughs> I mean it has this cool deck there and um, it has a roof over that so it looks really, really cool I like that somehow and it's going to be really really expensive because I put lots and lots of coffee tables on the roof so it has this smooth finish because I used like the smallest half wall there and then I filled it up with lots and lots of white coffee tables so it looks like yeah like a real roof somehow i thought that would be cool so if your sim doesn't have like so much money then you could easily delete all these coffee tables because they're like not that maybe like not that important to have i would say but yeah for me it was like kind of i wanted that to be like a thing i don't know i can't explain my weird mind sometimes but this is what i thought while i was building this oh i need to finish that up so it looks really smooth and clean <laughs> i don't know why but yeah so it is a six by six build again i guess so 36 tiles and it has of course a kitchen um a bedroom and a bathroom and also the interior like when you get inside there will be like a little office space I would say so there's like also a um a, yeah a table a table with a PC I guess that that is what you would call an office space <laughs> so yeah you could use a PC there so outside the deck I first only wanted it because it's a minimal minimalistic build a minimal build I didn't want to go so super fancy just wanted to do like some sun beds there but then I had a cool idea to delete a part of the foundation there and put these new corners these new seating corners from the dine out pack and i thought it looks really cool and they put like a bonfire there no not a bonfire how is the other one called i always have issues like campfire and bonfire and fireplace they're all the same it's something with fire so this is like a fire fire campfire a campfire i put a campfire there yes I hope I will remember that for the next build, but yeah, don't get your hopes up. It's always the same word sometimes. So yeah, so I wanted to put a nice path there that suited the minimalist theme. And I found these plates, I guess. I guess they're for the fountains, so you, it looks as if your sims can walk over the fountains, but they actually can't. So I placed them there. It looks really cool. It looks like these are yeah, plates on the sand. It, it kind of makes sense to place them there because, you know, maybe this house is really built on sand. But basically that wouldn't make sense because you don't build on sand like this. But okay, just in the sims you can. So yeah, it would make sense. So yeah, you don't sunk into the sand while you are stepping on these plates which would be cool and make sense somehow in my mind of course so yeah there's like a little uh bedroom corner it's open there's like no door also there's i guess is there a door to the kitchen i can remember we will see later it has been a while when i have built that 
and now I'm doing the voiceover because I'm going on vacation really soon and I want to have like lots and lots of videos for you guys so you have a schedule and that you have like at least one build video a week which is always on Friday so yeah um so I went with the blue and white theme here i know that a lot of you guys will write me that blue is not only for men it could also be for women and yes of course it does i mean hello um my favorite color is blue if you are following me on instagram you sh should know that because i basically filter everything with a blue filter somehow because i think it looks so artistic i don't know why maybe i'm just like a I'm I like I'm I'm a filter prick I guess, <laughs> but yeah I love blue. That's maybe why I chose the color. But also I thought I needed like a dark color there to give like a nice contrast of this cube inside this st structure. I guess you would call it. And yeah, I think it looks really cool. I really love that blue. I actually found it. I really found it because I've never used that wallpaper ever. That this kind of wallpaper has this dark blue swap in the shipping container thing that I've done. And since then I fell in love with this blue wooden paneling. I just love this wallpaper. I don't know why it's blue and it's wooden paneling. I guess that's why I love it so much. But yeah, it's just perfect. So you have a, yeah, a double bed. I used mainly black furniture which I also think is like kind of a manly thing because I can remember like my boyfriend saying like black furniture is the shit I love black furniture or something like this it's like cool he thinks it's super cool to have black furniture so yeah this is what I was thinking about when I was doing the interior design he would think it's cool I guess I haven't showed him this build actually I mean he's subscribed to my channel occasionally he can watch it but I don't think he does it's like nothing that is like super interesting for him but yeah I totally understand so yeah there's like the bedroom black furniture blue wallpaper you will see that throughout the build there's nothing much to talk about I would say the most tricky one was the kitchen of course always in these micro builds the kitchen is like the most tricky trickiest part because you have to fit at least like a fridge a stove and kind of a sink or something like that in there and if you only have like limited space it's hard to do a nice kitchen that makes somehow sense that like a normal person would have and yeah so this is like always hard to do but I think I figured it out a little bit and for the kitchen I used the whiter wallpaper like is it the same no it's not the same wallpaper in another color but it's like a white wooden paneling like this we could like make a contrast with the dark blue kitchen I guess it's a base game kitchen so you should have that if you have the Sims 4 like this we have continuity with the blue and white and the black furniture it was possible to place this fridge on this one diagonal and like this it was pretty easy to get to that so it saved me like lots and lots of space like I've already said you have to build in a diagonal so you have like actually more space that then you have would have like if you are building in a normal way what's the opposite of diagonal like rectangular no rectangular is a shape but yeah I guess you know what I mean <laughs> and this is what I did here actually so the whole house is basically in a diagonal uh, or like the living room part and this is what it what made it quite easy to put lots and lots of furniture there because actually it, it all stretches like the whole construction somehow diagonal builds are bigger even though the grid is like a normal one by one but yeah I guess that's the game logic don't ask me why it does that it's it's a fancy thing but it's really really useful and really handy if you are doing micro builds for example so if you're doing micro builds next time use the diagonal shape it works and there's also like a little seating area in the corner of the kitchen so you can sit there and the seating areas looked a little bit like couches or sofas wherever you're coming from I know it's like I mean that's something really horrible for me as a German I mean I'm trying to learn English and then the Americans have like different words for the same thing than the English have and the Australians even have super weirder things they say like I have no idea so what which one am I, am I going to pick I mean it's really hard for me sometimes 
Um, I think couch sounds better somehow. So yes, it looks like a couch, the sitting area in the kitchen. Let's come back to that, sorry. Um, and therefore I thought it could be also like a living room. I mean, maybe he's spending there some time with the ladies or the guys, I don't know. So I put in a little TV. I guess that's the one from Get to Work, which is the only wall-mounted TV that is really small. I like that one. Really good for, yeah, micro builds again. And I also used some shelves in the kitchen so I could like place lots and lots of clutter there because, yeah, you know, I love my clutter. So it's not that minimalist as like the interior design. The interior design is minimal at all, of course, because, yeah, you know me, guys, I can't do it <laughs> minimally. But the exterior is definitely... I I didn't use any pot plants there, did I? No, I didn't. I tried to use them, but they were in the way then after that. But so, yeah, it's a pretty nice build, actually, pretty solid. I like it very much. And it was like, even like, it was like lots of fun to place like lots and lots of clutter again, because that's like the most, like the best part for me from a build. I have like lots and lots of houses that are like in the really raw stage. Lots of flower builds because you guys, you are super crazy with your flower builds. You always want to request new flowers and all that stuff. And they have so many raw builds for each and every flower. And then I get like a, yeah, like a lack of inspiration or something didn't work that I thought would look really cool and then didn't look as, as cool as I thought or as the flower or something. And therefore I have like some raw builds and some raw videos and I couldn't do them properly and I haven't done them so I'm waiting for new stuff packs and so on maybe there are like some objects that I could use so yeah this is why sometimes there are no videos for example because I only produce lots and lots of raw builds that aren't really done because I can't go further <laughs> but yeah in the next weeks there are going to be some really cool builds yeah and yeah so this is it so yeah, let's talk a little bit more about the build. There's a bathroom and here again I used the black objects and I thought it looks really elegant. I really like the black one. I always like to use black. I mean, in real life, black sinks and toilets and all that stuff are really expensive, or at least I know, and they're really hard to clean because you have all that... Is it called chark or what is it? But yeah, you see it really easily on the black ones and it looks really cool, super elegant. I actually personally really like that. In The Sims is super easy because even the cheapest toilet comes in a black option and I mostly like to use that one. And here I could do that in the bathroom. It looks really cool, like white and walls and black objects in there it looks really cool i like it it's really stylish and he has even like a bathtub so you can maybe take some bath with the partners he has so that that would be cool and yeah the office space nothing fancy a glass table pc some lotion and tissues like always because you need that guys girls even more maybe i don't know for your hands and for makeup or stuff <laughs> and yeah, so this is what I always like to place near the PCs or near the beds. Maybe you haven't noticed that in my other builds, but you will always find lotion and tissues or like paper towels next to my PCs or my beds <laughs> because there's something that people have there, I guess. But I think it's funny and yeah, let's keep it realistic here in my build. So this is like another step forward for that. Okay, yeah, that's it. You can download it. It's up in the Sims 4 gallery. Like like always the download link is down below and also feel free to comment on what kind of micro build you want to see next maybe you have like a cool really cool idea for it and I will gladly look into that and see what I can do and make it out of the raw stage of the builds <laughs> so yeah thank you so so much for watching enjoy the screenshots and I will see you soon bye bye